What's up guys? It's your girl Nicole Young and I am back with another video. In today's video, we are going to be discussing something that I know can be a super stressful decision to make when you are learning to code and wanting to take your learning to the next level. And that is figuring out what courses you should buy and if they're actually worth the money. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down five of some of the most popular places that you can use to learn how to code and my own personal experiences with each one of them. So I'm going to be counting down from my least favorite all the way down to my most favorite. So make sure you watch the entire video so that you can get the breakdown on each one. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. Number five is Udacity. So I know that Udacity is one of the most popular places to learn new technical skills on the market right now. So over quarantine, they offered a free month trial of Udacity for any one nano degree. And so I took full advantage of that. So typically you might have to pay up to $400 a month for one nano degree but i made sure i took advantage of that free month because you can get through a lot of content in a month so my score for udacity is a four out of ten so let me explain why that is the first thing is that i felt like the lectures were extremely general to the point where if you didn't know any particular concepts, you would have to basically teach yourself what you needed to learn in order to finish the projects that they offered for each lesson. I think that one of the biggest advantages of taking an Audacity course is the projects that you can walk away with, but you're basically teaching yourself how to complete each project, and that's not a bad thing, but I just don't think I would pay $400 a month to teach myself how to do a project. I think that there are plenty of other ways to be able to do that. Number four is Udemy. So I give Udemy a six out of 10. I think that what's cool about Udemy is that you're not paying a monthly fee or for a subscription. You're only paying for the courses that you take. So some courses are free, some are as little as 10, 13, 15 dollars and you get access to those courses for lifetime after you pay for them. One thing that I also like about Udemy is that they have tons of sales and discounts throughout the year so you can always catch a good deal on courses that you want to take on Udemy. I definitely think that if you are someone that's teetering that side of learning to code for free but also maybe wanting to upskill and learn some things on paid courses, this is a great place to get started and kind of get your feet wet in purchasing courses. Number three is Skillshare. So Skillshare is similarly set up like a marketplace. The difference between Skillshare and Udemy is that you would pay for a membership to Skillshare and you get access to all, that's right, every single one of the courses that are offered on Skillshare when you are paying for the membership. So I pay $100 for the entire year and I 100% think that that $100 is worth it. Not only am I getting access to courses on different coding concepts, but there are also so many great courses on Skillshare where I can learn freelancing skills and I can learn how to use different softwares that are very valuable to me as a freelance developer. So I think that it was 100% worth the money and I share the account with some friends and family. So really getting my money's worth there. Number two is Skill Crush. Skill Crush is one of my favorite places that I have found to learn new tech skills. I think that what's great about Skill Crush is that it is specifically geared towards people who are making that mid-career shift into tech. The courses, the way that they are set up, the way that the lessons are set up is specifically geared towards people who may not have any experience in tech but want to make a shift and a transition into it. The lessons are really fun to go through if you are a visual learner, if you are someone who is you know, on the busier side where you only have a little bit of time to devote each in each day to learning to code, I think that Skill Crush would be perfect for you, especially for those of us who have kids or other responsibilities at home that we have to put our attention to. Skill Crush gets right to the point 
here is everything that you need to get your foot in the door in a tech career. I paid $1,300 for Skill Crush's Break Into Tech package, which came with literally all of the courses that they offer. Know that that's kind of a lot, but not only did I get access to the community that they have and the lessons that they have on development that I needed, but they also had design courses and courses on freelancing and career development that were add-ons to that giant package. And I'll also have access to a lot of the back end and mobile development stuff that is on there when I get to it. And this was the biggest investment that I made so far in my coding journey and I don't regret it at all. And number one on my list is Team Treehouse. So I actually did not pay for Team Treehouse. I got access to it through a program that I was a part of, but I know that the personal plan is only $25 a month, which isn't a ton, especially when you consider that depending on how much time you put towards learning each day, you can probably get through a lot of the lessons um, and the full tracks that they have in you know a month or two so it's really not a huge investment that you have to put into it the reason why i think team treehouse is so awesome is because the courses provided on team treehouse are the most in-depth detailed courses that i have personally taken and so if you are someone that really needs to know intricate details about things if you're someone that does need to conceptualize things better i think that they do a great job of breaking down each concept that you need to understand and helping you to learn those things. And another reason why I think Team Treehouse is so awesome is because of what you are getting access to. They have lessons and courses on all of the major languages that are popular and used the most right now and on concepts like responsive web development, mobile development, UX, UI design, research. I think that it's a great place to get information on all of those things and you can kind of create your own track based on what you need to learn the most. And that's it guys. So let me know down in the comments below if you agree with the ratings that I gave all of these lessons if you are someone that has taken them. Also feel free to let me know if you want any more in-depth look into any of the courses that I've taken on any of these platforms. I'm more than happy to share that information with you guys. But that is it for this week. I love you guys. I'm rooting for you and I can't wait to see you in the next video.